Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Pour Some Sugar On Me by Def Leppard. So this has a lot of guitar layers in it. It's got a lot of, uh, a lot of production in the song. So that's how they get uh, some really cool effects. Um, but we're going to try to recreate it as much as we can. Get all, get all the important licks and all the important riffs in here. So we're going to start with that main riff. Um, now actually, at the very beginning of the song, you're going to hear this. Just muting the fourth fret here on the A string that's going on. So we're in standard tuning here. Um, you're going to see that a lot in the song, by the way. And then we get into the main riff. All right, so that's starting muted here on the A string again, that fourth fret. And then you're going to go over to the G string, pull off six to four. Over to six on the D string. Nice and muted. Over back to that sixth fret on the G. Oh, sorry. So that back to the fourth fret on the G. Back to the sixth fret on the D. Then to the sixth fret on the G. Play this. Then back to the fourth fret. Pick it and then pick it again and hammer on to the sixth fret. So real slow. I'm going to start repeating. And then the second time through, instead of going, I'm going to go. That's just picking the four, and then pick it again, and slide down to the third fret. So all together. Just repeat. So halfway through that second time around, power chord now the second fret on the A string and then the fourth. And then they do kind of a like a volume swell there. Just hold the fourth fret on the D, fourth fret on the G, pick it, and then swell in the volume knob. Just to pick it on zero and, and just swell it in. Alright, so then the, the verse comes in. There's not a lot of guitar work until we have this part. Uh, you get the point. So we're basically power chord here at the fourth part of the A string. Hold it with those two fingers, the, the little finger and the first finger. And then come over. We're going to go sixth fret on the low E to fourth fret on the A. Do that twice. You did. So we have this. All right, into the pre chorus. All right, so that's the power chord here off the F sharp here, the F sharp power chord of the low E string, second fret. Then hop over to the sixth fret on the D and the G together. Then the fourth fret on the D and the G. We have this. Do that again. Now everything basically two frets lower. So it's the open E string power chord. Then four and two instead of six and four. And then, then we have straight power chords coming back up at the very end. E power chord, A power chord, B power chord at the second foot off the A string. So we have this all together. All right, chorus, here we go. All right, 
So that's just those same power chords we did at the end of the pre-chorus, but hit twice on the low E, then twice on the A, three times on the B, and then two times. So we have this. Pick it and slide up to the fourth fret there, and uh, we're back to the main riff again. Now this time we're going to go into a swell of the instead of the fourth fret there, the ninth fret on the D and the G, and then you get do that a few times. This swell is not very smooth with my volume. The taper's not completely like just a straight arc. So you're gonna do that a few times, and then back. And then we have that. So he's just hanging out on one note there, that same fourth fret on the A string, and he's going, he's hitting an artificial harmonics. And just going up and down the string, finding those different harmonics just randomly. And then we back. A little bit different rhythm there. You can hit the full chord there if you want. Full major chord. Then we're back to the pre chorus. And then into the chorus. Now, coming out of the chorus, we go into the bridge here. So, this one's like this. More swells. So some cool stuff there. We're gonna basically move up to the fifth fret power chord, do the swells. And then we go into this little, you know, very iconic part, just. And that's just between seven and six on the G string. You're gonna be muting that. Now we're gonna go to this big E power chord. Now how they're doing that is op open high E string, fifth fret on the B, fourth on the G, then lay your first finger across the second fret on the D and the A string, and the low E's with it. So it's just a bunch of big E power chord. And then you strum it again. And that little lick is low E open string and then seven, six, five on the E string. All right, now the second time here of doing these sevens and sixes. Now we have this little lick that we have this. All right, so let's get those notes underneath our fingers first. With this seven to, on, to five on the seven on the G to five on the B. Back to six, seven on the G. So those first five notes. And then four, six, seven on the G. Now pick four, seven, six, four. So this. And you're gonna end it with Six, four on the G, six, seven on the D. So we have this all together. Now you can see right there, I'm starting to, as I get further down in that little lick, 
he starts adding a lot of artificial harmonics to the hook. Now, if you don't know how to check out my lesson uh, on the site on um, artificial pinch harmonics. Uh, some people call them squealies or whatever. There's a lesson in, in there. I think it's in the intermediate or beginner section. Uh, just make sure you check that out and it'll teach you how to do this sound. Okay, it's a cool little effect. Back to that E power chord. Then we have this. So we have this. That's two on the D, two on the A, then four, twice, and then, and then slide it up to the fifth fret. So we have this. Back to that power chord. So that's a low E, to the 5th fret on the A, back to the low E, and then slide it, slide into the 7th. So after they do some more uh, just kind of acapella vocals, they go back into that same ending. Back into the pre-chorus. And then back to that same chorus shift. Now over the chorus shift, you'll hear some. There's a second guitar part with the just the fifth fret on the B and the high E string together. And towards the end of the song, there's a short little solo that only uses a few notes uh, and kind of randomly. So let me just show you kind of what he's doing in that solo, and you can do your own thing with it. It's just kind of. So that's just basically doing the whole set bend at the 14 on the high E to 12 and back to 14. Just I kind of do something like that, just 12, 14. And then kind of the same melody up here. 19th fret bend to 16, back to 19. So just between those two notes. And we're going to end the song with the, the low E power chord, A power chord, and then the B power chord three times. It's kind of the first three chords uh, there of the chorus. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a fun one, and everybody knows it, so you got to get it right. All right, hope you have fun. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com.